So in today's video, my dad is gonna be tackling the Travis Scott meal. The Travis Scott meal is his promotional meal with McDonald's where that's the order that he gets at McDonald's. So I'm gonna roll the clip of what it is. I'm Travis Scott, this is my McDonald's order. Follow me. Here's my quarter pounder with lettuce, pickles, onions, ketchup, mustard, and bacon. Yeah. And I think my dad knows someone of who Travis Scott is. Obviously, he doesn't know exactly who he is. We are going to order that. Hi, uh, can I get one with no lettuce? And we're gonna see if he can turn it gourmet. If you're new to the channel, my dad is a chef who is on Iron Chef Canada as an Iron Chef. He competed in Iron Chef years ago against Bobby Flay. And yeah, has restaurants in Toronto, Singapore, all that. I'm not gonna keep the intro too long, so order the McDonald's on the way. Gonna bring it over to him and we'll see what he does with it. Expecting this? No. I don't know, eh? Wow. So, it's a challenge, son. Do you know who Travis Scott is? I like his music, actually. I think his music is very melodic, kind of like cool. Sometimes a little bit more like a stoner kind of music. This meal is his meal. Oh, he is like sponsored by McDonald's. So I got three of them, one to try and then two you have to use. What is it anything to do with Travis Scott? Got? His meal that he always gets at McDonald's. This is his meal? Yeah. Oh, he eat everything himself? Holy shit, that's a no, lot. No, I got food. three of them. I didn't get the Sprite because I don't like it. So I got three, one to try. Or you're just gonna taste it and spit it out. If they didn't give me the barbecue sauce for some reason, even though I ordered five of them, it's a visual critique. At least it came hot, no? Well, you know what? It looks really kind of like clean looking. Perfect. No grease, you know? You know, you can feel the sponge and the lettuce, how they place it very statistically. And the bacon, the cheese, you know? So, holy cow, that's... What is that? Oh, they put ketchup a little bit on it already. Oh, they put a little bit of ketchup, just kind of get you going with a little bit of sugar. Let's taste this. See? Very clean. What kind of cheddar cheese is that? Like processed cheese, I don't know. Pretty good. Well, I, I like it because... Because they did really kind of keep it very clean, not greasy, and you can taste the meat. Everything you can identify. You know the fries need to cook a little bit longer, I have to say. I know they have a timer, but you know a little bit soft. I think that's the first positive fast food review you've had. I know, it's funny. Uh, I actually, it tastes very kind of uh, clean. You notice I'm actually eating it, right? Yeah. The bun is very nice. A little bit of sesame really give a nice touch too. What would you rate the burger? No, I have to say, you know, the burger, even though um, it's, it's still stand up, very, uh, stand up very nicely, the patty is perfectly like, you know, it's just really uh, constructively, it, it, it is, uh, uh, did a very nice job. Because, you know, from, from one end to another end, it's exactly the same height, which is not easy to do to produce so many. I've never actually had a quarter pounder, I swear. Pretty good. Yeah. Sort of like a little European style, Asian kind of like thing. I need eggs, right? This is that, a little bit of mustard. Too. So what do we have? First of all, I'm going to sampling this thing. I am going to make a, a French crepe, two eggs. Really? Yeah. Easy. A blender, some milk, a bit more. Hope that milk is good. A little bit more, two eggs. I'm gonna put one, two, three. A little, little bit, a little pinch of salt. Done. More flour just to make a little bit of what I call edible glue. You know what edible glue is? Your friends crepe, right? You can actually you can get it from from any any recipe from online. It'd be great to actually have a blender. Get a little butter. Just kind of get a non-stick pan is the best right here. Give a little seasoning, I call it. Just like that. Just a little bit of uh, you see the butter, a little, just a little bit, not so much. Then you drop the batter in. You're swirling around. Crepe ready. Get a little sauce. 
flip it. Done. Done already? I'll make one more, just to show everybody how that works. Swirl around, you see this? Just, you know, don't be nervous. Just very slowly shake it up, look at it where all the empty spot is, you know, you can use this. Flip it, give you a little, you know, a little sur surgery there. Okay, done. Flip a little bit. This nice burger, take apart. Do pickles, bacon, a little bit onions. So I think, you know, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to top it up with just a little bit more onions. I kind of like the processed cheese for burgers. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's kind of like gooey, and kind yeah. of creamy. It's very hard to describe what it is. It has a little bit of stinkiness. Uh, and actually, it's not like, like it tastes like old parmesan, but it's not. So it was the best burger you ever had. The burger I had was uh, I was actually had a hangover after I was cooking uh, somewhere in the state. I think I was down in Kansas City in the airport on the way. You know, I like having a, a burger, so I put a fish fillet, fillet of fish, and a burger. I put it together. I take off only use one bun. I smack it together. Put a lot of sauces. I think wow, that was one of the best. So you actually do love McDonald's. You know. Good hangover food. Huh? Got rid of the bun? Yeah, don't need the bun. You kind of cut it into a strip, almost like the size of the french fries. Stack it a little bit on the side. Meanwhile, get your french fries, lay it out nicely. I'm gonna to top it up just to use a little more gherkins. A little more pickles. I am getting my, my magic going. Some of this. Oh yeah, yeah. Holy it comes up so fast. Oh, yeah. So this is a Costa Rican steak sauce that I like yeah. a lot. This is your favorite. If you're from Toronto, I buy it in Kensington Market. And they squeeze in. That's Japanese mayo, no? Mustard, yes. Hot dog mustard. Can you name one Travis Scott song? Oh shit. Can you play one of his songs? I actually like it. You know that one or never heard it? The first one I heard. Oh yeah, yeah, this one. Yeah. I smear just a little bit of sauce. So this is kind of a French episode, no? Yeah. It's almost like, you know, French and uh, Japanese. I, I, will I will show you why. Then, beef, bacon and cheese. Mm? Savory crepes are a French thing, no? Savory crepe, yeah. But you know, uh, also, uh, you know, the Chinese also make that too. Uh, everything is into <laughs> Chinese. Well. You know, I'm very proud of my culture, which is true. One of the oldest civilization. We did invent a lot of stuff like compass, like paper, like gunpowder. What else? There's something else that I miss. I keep rolling my the microscope for down low. Huh? I needed to use it to see <laughs> down low. <laughs> okay, onions. Now I'm gonna heat up the pan again. The fries are in. A little bit of salad. A little pickle. You cut some more pickle, right? I did, yeah. Roll, mm. nice. Then I'm gonna use a little bit of the glue I'm talking about, edible glue. Uh, what is that? We just, just flour and water. Again, we go back to using, now if you don't wanna use butter, that's fine. Use just a little bit of olive oil. You know, you don't need to have a lot of, you sear down with the, uh, with the one where the seam is, brown it a little bit, sauce is here. What level of heat is that? Uh, I would say medium heat, you can see, very low. You can see it, um, keep turning it and keep turning it, make sure they're nice and golden brown. Looks like a burrito. I am just getting it nice and crispy, keep rolling. One side. Yeah. Mayo, steak sauce, and mustard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, artistry. Mm -hmm. A little bit of that, sort of like casual, casually arranged, the word is. Cherry tomato. Mm. Tomato tastes so good. You know, eating burger without ketchup is not a burger, right? Or we're not eating a burger. Huh? Or we're not eating a burger. We are not, but the element of burger is there. Mm -hmm. Both ends. For, present for presentation, I don't want. It's like a little kid food, you know? <laughs> you gotta play around with things. Yeah, there you go. 
finished product. This is my finished plate. Finished plate, so give us a breakdown. Basically, cheeseburger, French crepe with french fries, also with your favorite sauce from uh, Costa Rica. A little bit of uh, hot dog mustard, mayonnaise, and of course ketchup. A little bit of refreshment from tomato. So let's go and try it. Nice, first bite, you don't fall apart, that's the success, right? It's like a fancy burger. Mm. It's pretty good. Mm. You know how to cook a bit, huh? Mm. I like your sauce creation. Mm -hmm. Those sauces are really classic for burgers, right? Barbecue sauce, ketchup, mayonnaise, and also mustard. I mean, how can you go wrong? I mean, anybody grew up in the West probably understand those flavors. But it's nice to give a little change. So my girlfriend's actually here making a surprise appearance. My girlfriend. The first outsider to try it. Iron Chef turns fast food gourmet. Pretty good, no? Mm. <laughs> All right, I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Shout out my dad who made up that French burger crepe. It's actually pretty good. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Panda Express filmed Iron Chef turns Panda Express, which actually is the, probably the best like transformation one he's ever done. So. I'm gonna post that maybe eventually. Yeah, just wanna thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed. I'm trying to hit 100K, and I'm 50,000 away, but setting the odds high. So if you haven't subscribed, you enjoy the content, please subscribe. And yeah, thank you so much. I post a video every Sunday from vlogs, videos, my dad cooking, all that. So next Sunday, peace. Gave myself too many chances. Gave myself too many chances. Alcohol and all these answers. Gave myself too many. Gave myself too many